So what does a blast furnace do? Well, let's show you. Let's get a blast furnace real quick. And just put it down there, and then we're going to fill it up with a bunch of fuel. Oops. Okay. Now, what it does is it smelts ores at twice the rate as a regular furnace. So it can't smelt just anything. It's mostly just ores. But it can also smelt armor or metal uh, armor. So let's go ahead and just look. So metal armor would be iron, chainmail, and diamond. And I guess nether. I've actually never tried netherite. And gold. But it won't do leather. Should we see what happens with netherite? No, it doesn't work in netherite. Okay, I wondered. Oh, not diamond? No, oh, I guess it doesn't work on diamonds. Only metals like iron and ch chain, chain mail. So if you put in, you know, like, you know, your chain mail or your iron, it just smelts it back down so you can get a little bit of resources back out of it. But you don't get much out of it. It's kind of worthless. So usually I don't do that. But it's really good with ores. And look, it's doing it at twice the rate. Isn't that cool? So you've got a bunch of ores you're going to smelt down like that. Most the iron. And that's the way to do it. But the fact is, a lot of the ores you typically get already break when you mine them, like diamond and redstone. And those ones you'd want to, you know, harvest with Fortune 3 anyway, so even if you did have them as a block, you wouldn't use a blast furnace for it. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's pretty much all I use a blast furnace for. I just use it for smelting iron. Other than that, you know, I, I don't really use them much. Except for, you can, of course, use them as a villager job site. Which is kind of nice, you know, to have that. And that gives them, makes them the armor, Which is cool, too. Okay, well, I was actually kind of boring <laughs> talk, talking about this stuff. But at least you understand what it is and how it works. Yeah, that's the blast furnace, and that's what it does.